Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to color correct with the Curves tool. So, to start working on it, let's head over to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. And here you can hit OK, and you should be brought up with this menu here. Now, if this looks confusing to you, all this line represents is the colors in your image. This little mountain of noise here is the histogram. And you see this peak that I have here means that I have a lot of my photo in that portion of colors, which you see is black on this little line. And as if you look at my photo, you can see that a lot of the picture is black, just like the histogram shows us. So that's how to read that, and it goes all the way up to your highlights. Now, on this line you have the black to white, and your image here is in a straight line from black to white. There's no adjustment that we have right now. So how you want to think about it, if we move this line up, we can just click and drag on the corner. We are cutting off the shadows. So if you look at that vertical uh, black to white gradient, you see we've cut it at the bottom. So now our picture can't use those. It now has to adjust to this new range of white to very dark gray. And what that ends up doing is lightens the shadows. So, likewise, if you go to the highlights and you dim them, it now has to work with that gradient. But let's not do that. Let's actually take this little point here and drag it down. And let's take some of the highlights and drag them up a little bit so that they are more bright. So by increasing the shadows and increasing the highlights, we achieve a more contrasted look. So the steeper your curve and the more vertical your line gets, the more contrast it's going to result in on your picture. And the more horizontal, the less contrast. So as you can see, I've dragged the light grays up to be more white and the dark grays down to be darker, which increases the overall contrast. But did you know that you can also adjust individual color channels? If you click on this drop down menu, you should see options to adjust the red, green, and blue color channels. So let's click blue. Now we have a histogram of all the blues in our photo. And as you can see, I have this peak over here by the very light grays to white and a little bit on the shadows. That means most of my blues are adjusted in that highlight area, which is in the center of my photo. So if I click over to the shadow of blue and increase it, it'll make my shadows blue. And if I highlight, if I go to the highlights and decrease the blue in the highlights, that should result in more yellow because by decreasing blue we're increasing yellow because those colors are opposites on the color spectrum. So here we we can get to adjusting and fine-tuning our colors. As you can see I've dragged the highlights down a little bit so that some yellow comes out and I've created a little bit of a curve to have a more contrasted yellow and blue effect. I've also pulled the shadows up a little bit so that my shadows aren't just a solid black or gray but they now have a tint of dark blue in them. So as you can see with this unique little curve we've created a more yellow sky and bluer shadows. But if you click on this little hand with the slider and head over to your image you should see an ink dropper and anywhere you position it it'll correlate to a position on your curve as you can see by that little circle so let's say I want to manually adjust it like this I can click up or down to adjust the curve and that should help if you want to adjust a specific area on your picture but aren't sure where it is on your histogram so after you start with the color of your choice, you can continue on and fine tune the green channel and the red channel as well. Now you don't want to be doing too much on every single color because that will result in too strong of an effect and it probably won't look as good as just a few subtle color corrections. But for the green channel, I'm going to adjust the sliders a tad bit to give the blue more of a bluish green tone. 
And finally, for the red, I'm going to just play around and get a feel for what these sliders are doing to my image when I adjust it. You want to be constantly paying attention to your picture to see the changes that are happening from your adjustments. So I'm going to play around with the highlights of the red and the shadows, give it a little bit of a tint in the shadows, and that looks just about right. So if you go back to RGB, red, green, red, green, blue mode, you can see all the curves that we've done. You can adjust your black and white curve again. Let me just add a little bit more contrast and drag the darkness a little bit down. And you can see your overall curve. So the advantages of this over some other methods is that, as you can see, we have tons of control. If you ever want to reset it back to normal, you can just delete the layer or click that refresh button. If you just messed up on one color channel, let's say you didn't like what you did on the red color channel, you can just select it from the drop down menu and hit that refresh button next to the trash can on the curves menu and it will set it back to a straight line for you to leave or adjust as you want. So hopefully you can start using the curves tool on your own photos because it is a very powerful tool that lets you adjust your photos in a way that you want and is more precise than a lot of the other methods. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial uh, please subscribe to keep updated with my future tutorials and check out my channel for more. I'll see you next time.